Latinos here, Mike O'Connell on the show. Our next guest stalked Mike Epps and next Friday seduced Chris Rock and had to say and married Tracy Morgan on the Tracy Morgan Show. She's also said to have the best hair on television, which we'll see, I guess. Please say hello to Tamala Jones, everybody. <laughs> You guys have worked together before, oh, correct? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Do you remember? When? <laughs> <laughs> On ER, I played Dr. Benton's niece. Oh my God! I was yes, like you a did. A little twelve-year-old. Oh my! But I was really twenty. No way! I would have like no. No way! I would have recognized you from that. Yes. No way! I would have recognized you from that. No, because I'm watching your other stuff. So I was like, oh wow, Tamela Jones is going to be on here. Oh, Little did I know that I directed you in that ER. You, you played sure a twelve, did. twelve year old kid. Yeah, but I was old? twenty one at really? the time. Yeah. Oh wow. They do that in Hollywood, you guys. They do that on the internet too. <laughs> Well, thank you for being here, thank and uh, Tracy me. Morgan's a good pal of ours, so uh, that's uh, it, you must have fun working with him. He's a, he's a nut. <laughs> Tracy, you just don't know what to expect next from him. I mean, he talks about babies with uh, cast on and dirty diapers and the projects. He goes from one extreme to the next. Yeah, he's he great. talks about all sorts of other <laughs> things, too. But yes. you um, were like a, a teen actress, and you did like commercials, correct? You did yeah. like some big national campaign. IBM was my first... And you made a good deal of money. And I spent a good deal of money, too. I lost it all, you guys. You lost all your money doing what? How did you lose the money? Shopping. <laughs> Shopping, like <laughs> shoes and purses and, you know, all kind of stuff. Not really paying attention to it, not coming back. And then I had this boyfriend I was seeing in New Jersey, you guys. So, you know, the phone bill was, was kind of high. Was this Usher? Was this Usher? Was no. Oh, oh, okay. All no, right. we'll get to Usher in a second. Okay, oh, good, so, good. Um, <laughs> I had to get a job at Subway Sandwiches making four twenty five an hour to pay a friend back six hundred dollars that I owed. Wow. And I made I made fun. You work how long did you work at the subway? Long enough to pay her back her six hundred dollars. And then that was it? And I had to get out of there. You didn't like being a sandwich artist? No. And they didn't like me being a sandwich artist either. I really? cheated. You know, you're only supposed to put four meatballs on a six inch. I put eight. Oh, you could have bankrupted yes. the whole company. I yeah. sure could have, but every guy that came in there was like, give me the little black girl with the long, curly black yeah. hair. Yeah, I like her. I could see Jared coming in. I said, Jared's getting fatter <laughs> for some reason. We, He'd been losing all this weight, and now it's going... <laughs> yeah, so you did that, and that was not a good deal, sir. No, they told me I wouldn't amount to anything. I would never make it as an actress, and I'd be working at Subway Who forever. Who told you that? My old boss, and I'll leave her name out of it. But no. look at me now, girl. Look at me now. You don't remember, you remember her? <laughs> Seems like we should mention it. You tell me I'll mention it tomorrow night. Quentin's going to direct the show tomorrow night. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you, you tell us and we'll mention it. You can play a 12-year-old guy. Big dog, a little blind sider. She'll watch tomorrow night and go, what is that? And now you're on this big NBC sitcom and you're dating Usher. I'm not dating Usher. You didn't hear? But you are on the sitcom. Quentin and I are dating. Oh, you guys. I didn't know that. <laughs> this is our first time like, coming out as a fact. No, no, really. I'm not dating Usher. He's just a friend of mine. and the... Are you dating an Usher and people got confused? Maybe? No. <laughs> they saw us out after the Soul Train Awards and oh. put two and two together and yeah, but connected us. What were you us. doing out at the, after the Soul Train Awards? I presented. And then there was the after party. Janet had her party. Usher had a party. Janet Reno? Janet Jackson. Uh huh. You went to Janet's party? I went to Janet's How party. How was Did you get to talk to her? No. Did you hear about what happened with her in the Super Bowl? <laughs> Mine that are covered. Something. That was a big deal. So you're not dating Usher, but you no. did date um, Nate Dogg. For a date, I would say. Oh, you went on one date with Nate. Did well, you guys go to the movies like the, the Joey and the? Yeah. No, it wasn't like that. We did date, go out on a date a couple of times, but Nate is—he's he's a nice guy. He's just not for me. Oh, come on, you know, he's—he's he's, he's a bad boy. Right. He and is, I was yeah. in my my bad boy syndrome. I'm not like that anymore. Oh, really? Now you're now you only date nice men? Well, I would prefer nice men. I see. Yeah. Like like who, for instance? Is there somebody besides? When? Well, I just I'm gonna tell, you, I'm gonna tell you, this is our first outing as a couple. That's right. Now, on the show, Tracy was a mechanic on the Tracy Morgan show, and suddenly he's now a sports agent. Yes, uh, Shaq came on our show. Yes, uh, that's a that subterfuge. All right, it's like changing Darren's, and like we're not supposed to notice on Bewitch. Well, you know what? This is how I saw it. That's a good. One. He's right. He's right. 
But how did you explain that transition from mechanic to sports agent? Well, this is how it happened. <laughs> what happened was, uh, Shaq came on the show. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> he said, if you ever want to be an agent, come work for me. Gave him a card, cut to the show. And Tracy's now going on his first day as a sports agent. Bernard and Spoon are running the garage for him. Spoon uh -huh. is our neighbor, and Kat is Tracy's assistant. And we have money now, and I get to wear fancier clothes. So all of a sudden, <laughs> the family's gone okay. from the good times to But you to actually tried to, you tried to sell it, though, all right? You didn't just all of a sudden he was a sports agent. Yeah, we did try to, to sell oh, yeah. it with the Shaquille O'Neal episode. It kind of so there was one everything. episode of transition. A special episode. <laughs> <laughs> but it will be, it'll be funny to look back at the reruns and you know to, to make that your Beverly Oh, that's when he made three thirty thousand a year. <laughs> that's when he made three hundred a year. <laughs> he's tuning Shaq's Ferrari and then he's negotiating his deals for right. him. That seems like an odd thing. You're not going out with Usher? No. How many times did you guys like, kiss? Three, apparently. Usher or anything like that? No. Can I explain to you? Please tell the truth. Usher is a handsome guy. I'm yes. telling you the truth. He's a handsome Why guy. Why wouldn't you kiss him then? Because he looks exactly like my brother Craig. Craig, I know you hate when I say that, but you do look like Usher. Really? My little brother Craig looks exactly like Usher. So Usher to me is like a little brother in yeah, a way. Yeah, but Usher to you, it, to him, you to him, ain't a little little sister, I'm guessing. <laughs> It sounds like she shut him down. <laughs> it sounds I, like that, too. Usher's a nice guy. He's got a great record Ooh, out. But she shut him down <laughs> on TV. He's no, a nice no, guy. No. <laughs> great song, Usher. <laughs> You don't want to hear about yourself, yeah, all right? When the girl's telling. And when you're Usher, you really don't need I'm that sort of thing. I'm proud of Usher, but he's not my boyfriend, and we have never dated, and I've never put my lips on Usher, maybe right here, uh -huh. but that's it. All right, very well, it's all cleared up now. There <laughs> we go. Time for Jones, everybody. Crazy <laughs> Morgan Show. Oh, we'll be right back. We got Michael Connell coming up, and we're going to go to the movies, too. We'll be right back.